Okay, guys, like I was talking about before, here are your patterns. You have your blue sheet over there. If you did not get a blue sheet, I have them up here at the front table. Make sure you have a ruler. Make sure you are using a pencil. Okay, I do not accept those drawings in pen. We talked about kind of doing our best job because these are what we're going to be gluing to the wood, just like we did on the jump peg right there. So <clears throat> we're going to start kind of in the lower left-hand corner here of our pad right here, and we're going to work with this rectangle right here. It is a 10 inch by three and a half inch. I'm going to kind of draw along with you. Um, if you would like to count squares to double check yourself afterwards, I will also tell you how many squares we're going over. Okay, you guys understand that part of it? All right, so from the lower left hand corner of your pad right here, let's just go ahead and scoot over one, two, three, four, five. So right here, I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, five spots, then go up, oh, let's say two or three spots. Not a big deal on that, but just get yourself a starting point. Remember, you don't want to use big old dots right there. Okay, we don't want a snowball fight going on on our paper. Okay, we just want little tick marks so we can draw our lines over. You guys with me on that? All right, so the first thing we're going to do on our drawing right here is go ahead from this corner. We're going to draw it out 10 inches this way, or you can go 40 blocks. So from our starting spot right here, we want to go to the right. Remember, we want to draw right on top of that blue line. You don't want to create your own. I like to use the ruler to measure. Just make sure that you're not using the very end of the ruler. You're using where the tick mark begins right there when you start. Okay, so start at the zero. Put it on your little tick mark that you made right on that blue line. We're going to go out to 10 inches. Put another little tick mark. And again, if you double check yourself, guys, that should be 40 blocks going across there. I'm going to go ahead. I like to turn my paper and draw vertical lines, but that's just me. So I'm turning my paper to draw my line directly over the top of that blue line right there. I want to draw it right over the top of that. And again, that should be 10 inches or 40 blocks right here. If you want to double check, count them up real quick while you're waiting. Should have 40 blocks going across there. We good? Yeah. All right, now, we're going to go back to our starting point over here on the left. And if you look, guys, we are drawing a rectangle right here. So we're right here in this lower left-hand corner. We want to go up three and a half inches on that blue vertical line, three and a half inches or 14 blocks. So if you'd rather count blocks, count blocks or do the three and a half, then count your blocks. But from this point right here, I'm going up three and a half inches. I like to use my ruler just to mark my spots. There's three and a half right there. Again, you are tracing over the top of that blue line, not creating your own. So make sure you're drawing directly over the top of that blue line. And again, that was three and a half inches or 14 blocks. And you guys, you don't have to write those on there. I'm just putting them on there in case you get lost or fall behind a little bit. Down here at the bottom was 10 inches or 40 blocks. Now, since we're drawing a rectangle, whatever you do to the left side, we're going to do it to the right side as well over here. So again, at the end of our line, we're going to go up three and a half inches or 14 blocks, whichever one you want to do. And then if you did this correctly, you should be able to connect these two lines at the top to finish out your rectangle. Again, you should be able to trace right over that blue line. If you can't, you measured wrong or you counted wrong somewhere.
and you should have the top portion to your shelf. We good? Yeah. Come on, slow pokes. Hyper. Hyper cranking out. Again, guys, if you want to use that drawing and you feel like you want to move ahead, knock yourself out. Move ahead. I'll eventually get caught up with you. All right. From the upper left-hand corner, so now we're going to start working on our front and our back pieces right here. Okay, they are not a rectangle, but they kind of start out like a rectangle, and then we kind of work to a point right here with some diagonal lines. All right, so what I want to do from this upper left-hand corner of our square right here, you're going to stay on that same vertical blue line, but you're going to go up one, two blocks right there just for spacing, just to give us some space in between. So I'm going to go up two blocks. All right, so we are right here at this corner. If you look up at the screen, I'm going to go to the right on that horizontal line, eight inches or 16 blocks. All right, so from right here at our point we just created, we're going to go eight inches or 16 blocks, whichever one you want to do, to right there. Again, I like to turn my paper to draw my lines, but then I'm going to draw a nice, straight, horizontal line right on top of that blue line. Right there. So again, from that upper left-hand corner, you're just going to skip up two blocks. Then draw a horizontal line, eight inches or 16 blocks. Yep, make sure you're drawing it nice and straight. All right, from here, and I know some of you aren't ready, I'll backtrack a little bit. On both sides, so on my left side and my right side of my line, I have to go up. Okay, I'm going to go up an inch and a quarter. Or sorry, no, sorry, my bad. Just an inch. All right, so that's four blocks. I'm going up just an inch. So four blocks, one, two, three, four, right there. Just an inch, draw a vertical line. There. And there. So I created just a small rectum. I'm not going to connect them, though. Now, kind of the harder part here. 
This diagonal point, guys, that you see right here, all right, we've got, we're going to make a point here for it. So the first thing we're going to do, this point is four inches over. So start right here in your lower left-hand corner of this little bracket. We're going to go over four inches and put a tick mark right there. All right, so I'm going over four inches or 16 blocks. I'm just going to put a little tick mark like that right there. So that's the halfway point. That's four inches. You guys with me? All right, now, at that halfway point here, from our bottom line that we have, we're going to measure up an inch and a half or six blocks. Sometimes it's just easier to count six blocks up from there. So I'm right here. I'm just going to count up one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is my high point on my shelf right here. Okay, six blocks up. That's my high point. So now all I'm going to do is take my ruler, line it up with this vertical line and my high point right here, and draw a diagonal line. Went too far. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm going to line this point up with my high point and draw another diagonal line here. So now you kind of get a little triangle up there. And that makes our smaller bracket. Everybody good? No? For me, guys, when I do this drawing, it's easier to start with this side piece right here. All right, so we're going to work. I'm going to draw this piece right here. Then we'll get to our other stuff up top. All right, so what I want to do from the lower right-hand corner of my big rectangle right here, from the lower right-hand corner, you're going to skip over two blocks. One, two right there so from the lower right hand corner of your big rectangle skip over two blocks one two right there from that point we're going to measure over three and a half inches or you can go 13 blocks whatever you want to do completely up to you there's my three and a half all right now i'm going to draw that horizontal line right on top of that blue line three and a half inches or 13 blocks whichever one you want to do on the right side of this line, I'm going to go up 5 inches or 20 blocks. So on the right side, I'm going up 5 inches or 20 blocks.
5 inches or 20 blocks. On the left side, I'm going to go up an inch and a quarter or 5 blocks. Inch and a quarter or 5 blocks, whichever one you want to do. I just count the blocks. If it's a really small amount of blocks, sometimes it's just easier to count blocks than it is to measure. Inch and a quarter or five blocks. Okay, now, up here at the very top, on our right side, on our line, so if you look where I'm pointing, right here, at this point, we're going to go to the left, three quarter of an inch, or three blocks. Again, I just like to count the blocks. One, two, three. There it is right there. Then I connect those. And now for our diagonal line, guys, all I need to do is connect this point right here to this point right there. So I just lay my ruler, connecting those two points. If you fall behind, I'll have the video done here in just a minute, and you can watch the video. All right, our next shape. We're going to draw the same piece right here. The only thing I'm going to do is take and turn it. All right, so if you see what I'm looking at right here. So from this upper right-hand corner right here, this corner, look where I'm pointing if you're working with me. I'm going to go up two blocks. One, two, right there. From this point, I'm going to go up three and a quarter inches or 13 blocks. Three and a quarter inches or 13 blocks. Again, the video will be done here in just a second, and you can follow along on that if you fall, if you fell behind. Three and a quarter blocks. Draw your vertical line. On the bottom side, I'm going to go over an inch and a quarter or five blocks. On the top side, I'm going five inches or 20 blocks.
All right, from there, you're going to go three quarters of an inch down. Three blocks. And then you could connect those two with your diagonal line. Guys, and I think I made a huge mistake. I think we went three and a half down here, and that's supposed to be three and a quarter. If you're following along with me. Measure that line down there. Oof, I did. Yep, I went three and a half. Should be three and a quarter. So I gotta fix that really quick. I apologize. Why'd you guys let me do that? Supposed to be three and a quarter. I screwed it up. That was my fault. So I gotta change all this. It'll be all right. All right, last piece here. Last piece is our top spot right here, our top bracket. We are going to scoot to the left from our corner right here. Two blocks, one, two. Actually, Scoot one, two, three, four blocks to your left. Four blocks to your left. Then you're going to measure over eight inches or 16 blocks. Gosh. A lot of things going wrong. Nope. Does not matter as long as you get the sizes correct. All right, from there, I'm going to measure an inch and three quarter down, which is seven blocks. What I do to the right, I need to do to the left. Then we're going to go back to our halfway point up here on top, which again is four inches. Right there in the middle, measure over four inches. And from that point, we're going to measure two and a half or ten blocks. And you can draw your diagonal line connecting those two points. When you are finished, write your name at the top. Take a good picture of it and submit that on Canvas. For those of you who fell behind, I'm 